Have you ever wondered how a $10,000 Go bar can be transformed into thousands of digital tokens? Tokenized commodities make this possible with blockchain technology, offering efficiency, divisibility, and tokenized liquidity. Let's delve into the world of tokenized commodities. Uh, tokenized commodities involve the conversion of ownership rights into blockchain-based tokens. These tokens represent real-world assets like energy resources, precious metals, and agricultural products. Through tokenization, assets are divided by assets and issued on a blockchain network for trading and redemption. Uh, step one, issuance involves creating tokens on a blockchain network. Step two, storage ensures secure custody of physical assets. Uh, step three, trading allows decentralized exchange and peer-to-peer -peer trading and peer-to-peer -to, -peer to peers. Four, redemption permits exchanging tokens for the underlying physical goods. Uh, precious metals, uh, energy resources, agricultural products, and real estate can be tokenized. Uh, these tokens provide fractional ownership, liquidity, and diversification in various markets such as commodities and real estate. Tokenized assets offer unique investment opportunities and redefine ownership structures. Or commodity-backed cryptocurrencies peg their value to tangible goods like gold, oil, or real estate. These digital assets offer stability by linking their value to physical commodities. Examples include Tether Gold and Paxos Gold, providing a bridge between traditional commodities and digital assets. And uh, tokenized commodities leverage blockchain technology, improving liquidity, transparency, and market efficiency, fractional ownership, real-time settlement, smart contracts, enhanced trading experiences, and so despite advantages, uh, cybersecurity threats must be addressed for widespread adoption. And why did the tokenized commodity go to therapy and had issues with commitment and was always getting cold feet? And with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.